So we'll have a look here at this. This is the Velta Stage 20. I'll just show you a little race I did recently. Stage 5 here in Thailand. I did 184Ks. Took me 6 hours. Average weight, 200 watts. Full natty bra, 67 kilos. Let's go to the Velta Stage 20. We have the best time was Krushwick at uh, 26.51. And we have Mike Woods. He's put up his power data. He's been transparent. And we'll critique that transparency, but 395 watts, and he's about 64 kilos on Wikipedia. End of a three-week st three stage race, he might be down to 61 kilos, so he's well over six watts per kilo, and he was dropped by the front group. 27.17. Mike Woods, 395 watts after three weeks of racing in the Spanish heat. Let's go and check out stage 20, the Velta. 327 watt average normalized power, weight, average weighted power, massive. 86 k an hour on the downhill. Look at that, 327 watts for three hours. I can do that for 20 minutes and I'm gas. Did it for three hours, 53, and then ripped out 395 watts, but still got dropped. Wasn't good enough for Conador, who took the stage win. El Pistorero, come back from his band to win. Uh, let's have a look at the, the GC here. We've got Contador 331. 331 and so 353. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense though, anyway. Looks like a bit of a typo. Hang on, how, how does that work? Maybe, maybe he started his Garmin early. Anyway, this is the stage results. We do know that Woods finished, uh, let's go back to that little climb segment. Woods finished 2717. Um, the Anglia, which is fantastic. If you've done the Anglia, let me know down below. It's a climb I always wanted to do. It's pretty romantic. 27 minutes. It's not that long, is it? It's a pretty fast climb. Anyway, we have the guys who finished in front of him. Palazzotti's been busted. Zacharin's been busted. Um, so, yeah. So, Woods, 136 down. So, they did uh, 136, but minus 136. He finished with Kolderman. Let's take the time gap. So it's accurate. No, I know it's not. what's going on here. So there's a bit of a discrepancy there. So let's say there's a minute, he's a minute faster, minute slower rather. So they did like low 26s. Low 26s. So well into the 6. Point, maybe 3 watts per kilo, 6.5 watts per kilo. After three weeks of uh, racing, and Contador ripped out a fresh BB and cracked it open on the fucking Anglero. There you go. So that's what it takes. So people ask me, how, how do I, I want to be a pro rider? I want to be a pro rider. If you can't hold 400 watts, all right, at 63, 62, 64 kilos, if you can't hold 400 watts, not on fresh legs, but after three weeks of racing, after that day doing three and a half hours at 300 watts, or three hours at 300 watts, 320 watts average, if you can't do that, you got, you're gonna be a bottle carrier for the rest of your life. You may as well get a job at Deliveroo, riding your bike around. You get earn more money at Deliveroo. Chances are, all right, I guarantee you. So anyway, that's what it takes me to pro ride. That's the stage 20 at Velta. Let's have a little flashback look at 2011 and when, if I was working for Team Sky, I could have got Bradley Wiggins and Chris Froome one-twoing at the Velta. Let's have a look at that. 